Yellowstone National Park. In the northwest corner of Wyoming lies the Yellowstone Caldera, one of the most famous supervolcanoes on Earth. Mike Poland, a scientist in charge at the U.S. Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcanoes Observatory, told that since the eruption 631,000 years ago, there have been about 20 lava flow eruptions. These tend to happen in clusters of several eruptions in a single period. The Yellowstone Volcanoes is a caldera, which is a basin formed when a magma chamber is emptied in an eruption. Yellowstone is known as a supervolcanoes, which is capable of producing ginormous eruptions, a thousand times more powerful than a normal one. Unlike what happens with normal volcanoes, the effects of these eruptions are worldwide. A supervolcano's eruption would destroy pretty much everything within a 40-mile radius. In the case of Yellowstone, pyroclastic flows would devastate the neighboring states of Montana and Idaho as well as Wyoming. Falling ash would also affect other areas of the country. The eruption would have long-term effects on the world's climate, potentially inciting droughts and floods. The Yellowstone volcanoes can be viewed as a crater in the ground from the Washburn Hot Springs Overlook, south of Dunraven Pass, in the National Park. It is a collapsed volcano that has a magma chamber bubbling underground that is estimated to be 40 by 80 kilometers across, which is the same size as the caldera. The Yellowstone volcanoes is active dormant, meaning it is not erupting now but could in the future. The National Park has many hydrothermal features, such as hot springs and geysers, which point to ongoing volcanoes activity beneath the ground. There are also frequent earthquakes in the area, but this does not mean that the Yellowstone volcanoes is getting ready to erupt, because the area has lots of pre-existing faults, as well as lots of groundwater. You get a lot of small earthquakes, typically about 2,000 per year on average. This may seem like a lot for a volcano's area, but this is background for Yellowstone. Poland said, Mike Poland continued, The ground also rises and falls regularly due to movement of gas, water, and magma on occasion also normal for Yellowstone. We've seen no indication of significant magnificent or accumulation, and we're not particularly concerned about an eruption anytime soon. It's commonly suggested that the reactivation or cessation of a particular geyser or of a thermal area is an indication of Yellowstone heating up or something like that, Poland said. The Yellowstone Caldera was created 631,000 years ago with the last eruption. At that time, a hot spot within the Earth's mantle underneath what is now Yellowstone National Park pushed a huge plume of magma toward the Earth's surface. Cracks then formed in the ground, and when it could no longer sustain the pressure, an eruption occurred, creating the caldera we see today. Meanwhile, some steam explosions can rarely be quite large, but small ones occur every few years in Yellowstone National Park. We can't say for certain when it will next erupt, but there's no indication of it erupting anytime soon. The most recent studies suggest that the magma chamber is only about 20% molten. It would take a while for the reservoir to be remelted to a point where it could support a major eruption.